this video, I'm going to go over the timeline within your Doodly interface. So you notice here at the bottom, there is a settings button, there is a scene line in the timeline, there's a music line in the timeline, and there is an audio voiceover line in the timeline. First, if we click on the settings icon located here, you notice it'll bring up a screen like this. From here, we can change easily between whiteboard, blackboard, and greenboard videos. So let's go ahead and select blackboard. From here, we can choose all the hands that are available to the blackboard option. We're going to change it to the female hand here. And then I'm going to go ahead and click apply. You'll notice that the background changes to a blackboard. I'm going to go ahead and drag over a character. Then I'm going to click the preview button so you can watch the character being drawn on a blackboard. We go back down and click on the settings button. Then we click on whiteboard. Then we click on apply. You notice it immediately changes to whiteboard. We click preview and you can watch it then draw as a whiteboard. And lastly, you can select greenboard, click apply. Let's change this back to whiteboard. Next, you can change the title of your video at any moment by clicking in this text box here clicking apply or you can come up here to the top and you can click up here in the top and you can change your title up here as well. I click the settings button again. You'll notice there are more options in the settings area located at the bottom. First there's video ends when animation ends or both the animation and audio end. So let me show you an example of that. To do that I'm going to have to drag an audio down to the timeline. So we'll drag an audio down there. Now you'll notice that our video ends right here after this scene. So it looks like it ends after three seconds. However, the audio, if we scroll to the right, looks like around 53 seconds long. So in this case, we have it set to when the animation ends. So this video would end at three seconds and the audio would just immediately be stopped right here. The video would end after three seconds. We click the settings button and we changed both animation and audio end, clicked apply, then the video then would end at 53 seconds down here at the end. Typically you want to set this to animation ends. Over here on the right we have erase mode, so by default the erase mode is smart mode. We also have with finger, with eraser, and off. To demonstrate that, let me take this image, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger, and then we're going to bring in a few more images. So we bring in this one, we're going to overlap them, and then we're going to take another image, and I'm just going to barely overlap the corner. So you notice the top of the lamp just barely overlaps the side of the step stool. Let me get rid of that one. So we'll go into settings, and you'll notice it's currently on smart mode. Now if I click preview, watch what happens with the eraser. So first it'll draw this, and you'll notice that the finger erased his legs and then started to draw the step stool. Next the step stool was drawn, and you notice that the finger came back in and then erased the, the top corner before drawing the lamp. I'm going to close this out. <clears throat> Next I'm going to bring in another character. and. This character is then going to overlap everything, so you can watch the eraser mode in action. Let's just do that. And you'll notice that the desk overlaps the entire lamp. So let's go ahead and click preview. Actually, I'm going to click pause, and I'm going to remove this audio from the timeline because we don't need this for this example. Okay, I'm going to click preview. You notice that the first image is drawn, then the finger will erase part of the image. Draw the step stool, the finger will erase right here draw the lamp and then an eraser comes in and erases and draws the desk. If we go back into the settings button and we click on with finger and then we click on apply, if we preview this you'll notice that Doodly uses only the finger to erase all of the objects on the screen. So it uses a finger there, uses a finger here, and then it's going to use a finger to erase part of the lamp. 
So no matter how large or small the erase area is, it's always going to use a finger. If we go back into settings and we select with the eraser, it's always going to use the eraser to erase all objects. If we turn it off, what's going to happen is no eraser is going to be used and you'll notice that the realism is drastically reduced. I would always recommend keeping smart mode on. Next, if we want to duplicate a scene, we can right click on a scene, we can select duplicate scenes. It's going to duplicate an identical version of the same scene right next to you. If you want to add another scene, you can click the plus icon and you can add additional scenes. You'll also notice that there is a music line down here in the timeline and there is a voiceover line down here in the timeline. To add a music line on the timeline, we can simply select a sound and we can drag that down to the timeline. If you want to adjust the volume of any audio that you have in the timeline, you can click the icon here. It's going to bring up something just like this. You can hold down your mouse and drag up or drag down. The higher it is, the louder it's going to get, the lower, the softer it's going to get. This is very handy if you have two audios down in your timeline. If you drag a voiceover audio down here and the background music was too loud, you can simply make it quieter by using this option here. To get your own voiceover inside of Doodly, what you'll need to do is use a third party program to record the voiceover. Once you have it on your computer, you'll simply want to click on the sounds tab, then the plus icon here. That's going to allow you to import the music or voiceover from your own computer. It will then appear over here on the left hand side at the top. You'll take that and you'll drag that down to your timeline just like you did the music. If you want to delete a scene, you can right click and select delete scene. You can also preview just the scene. If you want to delete music, however, you want to slide the slider to the far right of the music, hover over the line, and select the X here, then click OK. That's going to delete the audio from your timeline. And those are the primary settings within the timeline of Doodly.